Hey my amazing weirdos, today I'm bringing you this aqua copper summer look. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is just moisturize my face. I skipped over the primer mainly because I couldn't find it, but that's definitely a step you won't want to skip over. The next thing I'm going to do is just color correct any dark spots that I have on my face. So I've been breaking out a lot and scarring, so that's just what this red stuff is. Next thing I'm going to do is just kind of blend it all into my face so that it's not super prominent once I put on my foundation. So next comes foundation. I'm just going to take my Makeup Forever HD and Y77 and my Maybelline Fit Me in 355 and I'm just going to put a decent amount all over my face to get the kind of coverage that I want. And now I'm just going to take my Real Techniques blending sponge and I'm just going to blend my foundation all over my face. I'm using it dry first to get a fuller coverage and then I'm just going to use it wet to make it blend a little bit better. Well, you're rude. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go in with my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige and I'm just going to conceal and highlight the areas that I will want to use with my highlighter later. And then once I do all of this, I'm just going to go ahead and blend, 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 blend. What? Why are you saying my entire government? What did I do? I don't even know what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> blend! Blend so I don't look crazy! So next I'm just going to contour my face. I went a little bit heavier than I expected on the concealer, so now this is just to warm up my face. Moving on to eyes, I'm just using this Tarte primer that I have and you always want to prime your eyes to get your shadows to last longer and stand out a lot better. Using my Tarte Natural Love Palette, I'm going to take this shade Nudie and put it all over the lid. And this is just to one set my eye primer and to give my eyelid a natural look before I go in with the intense colors. Using my Morphe 35C palette, I'm going to take these two blue shades and mix them together and put them all over my lid. And I'm just going to build it up instead of just slapping it all on there, just to give it a intensified look and not really mess up the colors. Using the same palette, I'm just taking this Makeup and Chill and Nudie and blending it together and I'm going to pack that into my outer V and blend it inward towards my crease. So after I've wet my crease brush, I'm just going to take that 
color hot and bothered and put it into my crease and pack it over top of those two colors that we just used. Now you can do this as light or as intense as you would like. I personally wanted it to be really intense and give it kind of a summer sunset y kind of look. <laughs> So that's what I did and you just want to blend and make sure that the lines are seamless and nothing is too harsh and blend it to your desired eye look, which is what I did. Tint, you're just going to take that same hot and bothered color and you're going to bring it just below the waterline always remember what you do to the top you might want to do to the bottom it'll definitely make your eyes pop to finish off the eyes i'm just using my tarte's lights camera splashes mascara i really like this mascara it definitely adds a lot of volume you can add a cat eye if you'd like i just did mine off camera going to fill in my waterline with this Milani black eyeliner. You don't have to do this, you can actually skip this step, but I like to fill it in just halfway to make my eyes look a little bit more dramatic. To finish off my face, I am just using this Smashbox and Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette. I'm just going to highlight all of the points on my face that I want to have a subtle glow. You can do this however you'd like. Ending this look with the lips, I'm just going to take my MAC lip pencil in the color chestnut and I'm going to outline my lips and then I'm going to add some lipstick to it and blend it out. folks that is the final look if you like this video please do not forget to give it a thumb up and comment down below if you have any other look ideas that you would like me to do until next time bye my amazing weirdos it's not hell there's way too many angels in the atmosphere